David Moulton with Coach Jordan Mincy. Coach, thanks for your time. Uh, got down 23. Yes. Made a robust run to cut it to eight and had a couple chances. Let's talk about the first part of the game. Falling behind by 23. Um, did you think it was just a case of you guys couldn't put it in the ocean, or did you think it was more than that? Well, yesterday in practice, um, I won't make excuses. You know, it's going to be hard in any game where you got a guy like Rob McCray, who's an all lead talent. Um, he twists his ankle, and so he he wasn't moving 100% today. And I think, you know, you can notice that. And so um, he's kind of like a guy who's a huge playmaker for us. And so we just had to try to make some adjustments throughout the course of the game to try to speed it up a little bit, try to get a, a, a better understanding of how to score. And another thing is, you know, Marcus Knobloch, our, our point guard, got in foul trouble as well. And mm -hmm. so they were able to take us out of our offense. They did a great job of being extremely physical with us. And so, um, you know, uh, our guys have to have to understand, you know, when you get in the league play, the level goes up, especially the level of physicality. And I feel like they did an unbelievable job of being physical with us from the jump. I thought there were some positives tonight, though. First, it certainly looks as if Zach Bell is playing his way back into game shape, followed up the 21-point effort with not only 16 points tonight. I thought he did a terrific job putting pressure on the ball with whoever the ball handler was. Yeah, he was unbelievable. You know, Zach is one of those guys who, who really competes, and he's probably one of my top – uh, one or two or three guys on our roster who really want to win. And uh, he lays it on the line on both sides of the ball. And so um, being able to know that he's getting back into a, a shooting rhythm, and I just love that he's so aggressive, especially from the jump. Uh, for a little while there, he was our only offensive threat we had. And so um, being able to know that he has that level of confidence, if we can try to get the rest of the cards and rest of our guys to a line, I think we'll be able to be more productive on the offensive end. Final 10 minutes, I thought Nye Black and Powell were becoming a bit of a little one-two punch there when you guys were getting in. It looked like finally a little bit of a flow. Yeah, you know what? Um, being able to get – I think we move our offense a little bit more from the sideline, and then we put it more in the middle of the floor. We allowed uh, Marcus to be more of a quarterback. And, hey, look, you make decisions. Let's get these guys spaced out, and uh, we'll, we'll make decisions from there. And so, um, like I said, we'll look at the film, go a little bit more in depth. But I just told our guys I was extremely happy with, you know, the last 10 minutes, how those guys uh, didn't give up. You know, we could have we could have definitely laid down and, you know, what they fought back and they made a game. And so uh, we just ran out of time. But at the same time, man, we got to learn from it and understand that it's a 40 minute game or really just a four minute breakdowns. Do you think the final 10 minutes can truly carry over? Like there are certain sports like hockey. They truly believe you get beat up badly for two periods. You have a really strong third period. You think it can carry into the next game. Do you believe that, you know what, I think we're going to get off the bus and the land. We're going to pick up where we left off. Yeah. You know what? The thing that we love is, and we talk about the staff, we had games, especially at home. You know, we talk about a Swisher. You know, you're down, you're down versus Campbell. You're, you're, you're down versus Louisiana Monroe. Well, when you start running and jumping, now you're able to go score 51 points against a Monroe, but you're in Swisher. So it's a different feel. Right. Whereas now you're on the road, you got to try to steal these. And, and we talk about it all the time, you know, you got to protect home, but at the same time, you got to try to get these steals on the, on, the, on the road. And so um, being able to have our level of play carry over, we definitely know our identity. Multiple guys can come in the game and affect the game in different ways, which is what I was also impressed with down stretch with a guy like Joe Joe Sabino, who was cold, but at the same time, his level of play, his last game, carried over tonight in his game as well. And he got 48 points in the second half tonight, and hopefully that carries over Absolutely. to Stetson. Uh, they beat North Florida in the final seconds tonight. They've had a terrific non-conference season, including winning at UCF. The, the problems and the challenge that Stetson presents. They have two all-league guards. You know, they do a great job. Coach, Coach Denny Jones has been there a long time. He's an offensive mind. He does a, a great job of putting you in different ball screen actions and really spacing you out. And those guys do an unbelievable job of shooting the ball as well. And so um, along with Swenson and Blackman, go to backcourt guys, they're a handful in any night. You know, one of those guys can go off for 30. And so if I'm not mistaken, I believe Blackman is leading our league and scoring right now. And so um, they're definitely going to be a handful to try to um, get to the fam. And you got a one-day turnaround. And so our guys got to know it's not going to be a lot of scouting. It's going to be a lot of heartbeat, um, a, a lot of uh, mentally being in tune and trying to clean up the things that we necessarily mess up today. Well, safe travels. And Appreciate you. Pick up where you left off in the land. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.